so much has happened this week, so I'm sure that, uh, like me, you might have missed this gem of a headline. Republican Ron Johnson says it may be true that COVID vaccines cause AIDS. Yeah, this is a sitting United States senator who's saying this. Now, to give you some additional context here, he was being interviewed by a fellow right-wing nut job who's going to bring up his uh, belief that COVID vaccines cause AIDS. And, you know, Ron Johnson has the opportunity to challenge him. And he even says, let me challenge you here for a bit. But what you're going to see is he doesn't actually challenge him. Instead, he does the opposite. And he validates everything that this loon is saying. Take a look. The way to approach this is from a criminal point of view, because that's what has happened. And until we start holding people accountable, Fauci, number one, um, you're going to see people still falling out, still getting sick. You've got more than 100 doctors here, all of whom will tell you that these shots caused uh, vaccine-induced AIDS. They, they purposefully gave people AIDS, right? They knew this. The FDA, two weeks prior to their emergency use authorization license, had an internal review, an internal audit function that had the infamous page 16. They knew all of this, and yet they licensed these shots anyway, and then you have the trickery with uh, interchangeable or not. And is it a, a legally distinct thing or not? This is criminal intent. And until we address this as being that, we're stuck. We're, we're not going to get over this. So, so let, let, let me challenge you there. Please. That's, that's way down the road. You got to do one Perhaps. step at a time. I mean, you got to do one step at a time. You, everything you say may be true. OK, but. Right now, the public views the vaccines as largely safe and effective, that vaccine injuries are rare and mild. That is the narrative. That's what the vast majority of the public accepts. So until, it, we get, until we get a larger percentage of the population with their eyes open to, whoa, these vaccine injuries are real. Why? You know, you got to do step, step by step. You, you can't leap to, a, a, you know, crimes against humanity. You can't leap to, you know, a Nurem, a, 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 another Nuremberg trial. Why not? Are you a big pharma shell? Actually, he is unironically a big pharma shell, but that's not uh, that's not challenging him. You didn't challenge him. You just legitimized that point that he was making. Unbelievable. Um, so basically, it's not that it's not true that COVID vaccines cause AIDS. That's not how you challenged him. You basically said, well, you know, in order for us to do what you want to do and do military tribunals to execute the people, I'm assuming, who are giving people these vaccines filled with AIDS, first we have to convince the people. That's not challenging him, you fucking moron. Challenging him would be shutting it down entirely, saying, no, COVID vaccines do not, let me repeat, do not cause AIDS. For you to say that is preposterous. But he didn't do that. He put on his kid gloves and knowing that this was going to be controversial, he tried to prime us to think that he was pushing back by saying, let me challenge you. But you didn't challenge him, Ron. You didn't. You just gave him a dub. A United States senator just said it may be true what that loon was saying that COVID vaccines cause AIDS. I mean, just when you think that the Republican Party couldn't get any more unhinged, we see things like this. Now, uh, because Ron Johnson didn't do his job, let me do it for him and say it unequivocally. No, COVID vaccines do not cause AIDS. I shouldn't have to debunk this conspiracy theory, but here we are. Reuters explains, on Facebook, Singapore-based users have shared a screenshot of a tweet that reads, It's AIDS. They're giving people AIDS. I'm on an international Zoom call with pathologists and doctors. We are in serious trouble. Immune systems are being obliterated. This appears to be a reference to the COVID-19 vaccine. Speaking to Reuters for a previous fact check on the topic, Donna Farber, chief of the Division of Surgical Sciences and professor of microbiology and immunology at Columbia University explained that the vaccines don't deplete any immune cells, but instead they stimulate immune cells to be activated, divide and produce molecules like antibodies and soluble factors to recognize a pathogen and rid the body of it. So there you have it. I feel like it shouldn't have to be said, but in a country where a sitting senator literally says it may be true that COVID vaccines cause AIDS, you have to do things like this. You have to go the extra step and actually debunk these things. You have to make it very clear that not only is this factually incorrect, but it's deeply stupid to think that this is happening. There is overwhelming evidence that the vaccines are safe and effective. In fact, they've saved hundreds of thousands of lives and they are evidence that free healthcare is something that we need in the United States because 
These vaccines showed how effective and life-changing they are. But instead, we have idiots claiming that they, um, I don't know, cause AIDS, cause all kinds of issues because they're scared. But they're stupid. And them lying to people, it's getting people hurt. So, I mean, when you have government officials who aren't even willing to debunk things that are on its face so stupid... I mean, this is why we're in bad shape as a country. This explains it.